I work in any medium that inspires me at the time, but I've been doing antique ceiling tin for the last 20 years because I basically I'm an antique dealer and I got started by collecting the tin and putting it in my barns and then I decided, gee, I'd love to make art out of this. I love the 1890s. I love the Art Deco period. Um, I love color and form and pattern on pattern. I love Gustav Klimt and Mondrian. I love sculpture. I consider myself a sculptor, not a painter. So I try to put it all together in, in pieces of art. When we were antique dealers, we did 42 shows a year. So whenever I found great tin, I uh, would bring it home and kind of hide it in the barn for what I planned to do with it. And we put a lot of it in this house, in the farm. And when people would come from Chicago to buy art from us, they'd say, oh, how wonderful. Why don't you just take a piece down and, and make me a piece of art out of it? And that's what started the whole career of painting antique ceiling tin. It's color and it's pattern, and I'm doing collages now. I started out doing flat painted pieces where the tin had a pattern, and I would just glaze the tin. Now I'm cutting the tin apart, of course pieces that are not rare, uh, pieces that are damaged of ceiling tin, and I'm making collages. And uh, I hand mix the colors, I grind my own pigments, and I hand mix the colors, and I put on many, many different layers of glaze on each piece and uh, it takes many days, weeks to dry. And so I do all kinds of different things. I, I change my style and what I'm doing about every week. I, I, it's whatever inspires me that morning when I get up. I'm so excited that God gave me another day of life to create. I just get up and say, what am I gonna do today? And anything that inspires me, I grab it and say, I'm gonna make something out of this. So it's, it's, uh, it's the whole ball of wax. It's the color, it's the pattern, it's the found objects, it's the size, it's the tin. It creates one whole little environment, a mini garden some of them are.